This year, Google introduced two new Nexus smartphones to give consumers a choice to choose between a standard Nexus phone and a premium one. Past generations Nexus phones seems to be lacking something to be called a premium Nexus, but Huawei Nexus 6P is different. The P on the Nexus 6P stands for premium, and Huawei Nexus 6P is well equipped with high-end specs that is comparable to flagship phones in today's mobile world. Hi guys, this is Chase from Android. How's it going everybody? Thank you for tuning into Android's YouTube channel. Today, I will bring you the video review of Google's latest flagship smartphone, Huawei Nexus 6P. Let's start off with its design. Huawei never failed to impress its consumers when it comes to design and build quality of the high-end smartphones, and the Nexus 6P is definitely one of the better ones. This is the first Nexus smartphone that comes with full metal unibodied construction. It feels solid in the hand, but not as slippery as some other metal built phones. The chamfered edges and curvy back helps a lot on giving a comfortable grip to the phone. Being a fabric size device, the Nexus 6P is considered tall. It is even taller than last year's Nexus 6, but its slimmer width makes it easier to handle with one hand when compared to the Nexus 6. On the front, there's a 5.7 inch screen flanked by dual speakers placed on top and bottom of the display. The front facing camera is on the top as well. Moving to the right side, we have the volume rocker and power button located on the middle position so it won't get out of reach for users with smaller hands. The buttons have good feedbacks and feel solid too. The power button has a matte texture on it which makes it easier to find even when you're in the dark. The SIM card slot is situated on the top part of the left panel. The headphone jack is on the top while the USB Type-C port is placed on the bottom of the device. On the back of the phone, we can see the black glass visor that houses the 12 megapixel main camera and a two-tone LED flash. The circular-shaped fingerprint sensor is on the center with the Nexus branding crafted beneath it. We won't say the Nexus 6P is the best looking phone around, but it does give an elegant presentation which justifies its premium status. Let's talk about the display now. Huawei Nexus 6P offers a 5.7 inch Quad HD resolution Super AMOLED screen which is vibrant and yet not oversaturated. The AMOLED screen contributes a lot giving a high contrast ratios. There's not much to complain about with the viewing angle. Similarly, it doesn't face any issue when viewing it under the sun with this AMOLED screen. This screen is in fact one of the best we've seen this year. Well done Huawei. If you are not a fan of the Vivid AMOLED screen, Google allows you to change the display to sRGB mode that gives a less saturated and more natural look. Having the latest Nexus phone means we get to experience the most up-to-date Android softwares. Out of the box, the Nexus 6P runs the latest Android 6.0 Marshmallow. There is no lag or stutter on the Nexus 6P. We barely face a minor glitch for the entire review that offers buttery smooth and fluid experience which we've never experienced in any other Android devices before. This is largely due to the perfect combination of the best processor and ample memory as well as the pure Android experience. Marshmallow features Doze, which offers longer battery endurance during standby time. Users can define their app permissions where you can choose to grant or disable any permissions to suit your likings. Google Now on Marshmallow gets even smarter than before. The new Google Now on Tab will assist you by analyzing the content on your screen and deliver results based on that information. We can't deny that there's still plenty of work to be done for it to work perfectly, but we believe that Google is on the right track to provide a flawless Android experience that is comparable to iOS. Google's Nexus Imprint fingerprint sensor on the Nexus 6P is not only fast, it is also very accurate and efficient too. The fingerprint unlock experience on the Nexus 6P is by far the best we've tried this year. The 12.3 megapixels image sensor with 1.55 micron pixels on the Nexus 6P is one of the best we've seen in smartphone cameras this year. The 6P can capture some high quality photos in well lit as well as low light conditions. The HDR Plus feature in the camera app really makes the difference. Let's take a look at some sample images that we've taken earlier and let you see how well the camera performs. 
The Nexus 6P is capable of shooting 4K video, but what got us really excited is the camera also features 240 frames per second slow motion video. This definitely makes video shooting more fun. Audio and video playback on the Nexus 6P is awesome thanks to its pair of front-facing speakers. The sound quality is loud and clear. It gives a pleasant experience on music listening and watching movies. For all the stands you stood by me For all the truth that you made me see For all the joy you brought to my life For all the wrong that you made right For gaming experience on the Nexus 6P, we are more than satisfied with its overall performance. There's no frame drops on Asphalt 8, and the gaming quality is impressive even on high quality mode. When we are playing the Marvel Contest of Champions game, it runs smoothly without a glitch, and the phone doesn't overheat itself even after an hour of gaming. The Nexus 6P packs a large size 3450mAh battery. For normal users like me, who mainly use their phone for social media, emails, and text messages. The phone can last over a day without a problem. I can easily get a minimum of 4 hours of screen on time, which is considered decent for a smartphone today. The 6P comes with a USB Type-C charging port that offers a unique fast charging technology dedicated for this device. It is capable of fully charged up in less than one and a half hour. Now that's pretty fast with such big capacity battery on board. Huawei Nexus 6P truly deserves the title as the premium Nexus with its overall performance. We have come to the end of our video review. If you like our video, do hit the thumbs up button below to show your support. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel for more exclusive videos brought to you by Android.